Hi, so today I'm going to be doing my makeup tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is clip back your hair so that your makeup doesn't get in your hair and it stays on your face. Then I'm going to start by doing my brows and I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I brush them up like this. I do it to both sides. Because I really like that soap brow look. So I like let that dry for a couple of seconds. And then I push them up so that they're nice and like up. Now I'm going to use concealer. I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And I don't like to use a lot, so I literally just do like four dots to get rid of my under eye circles. If I have any like blemishes, which I don't really right now, I'll put it over that. And then I take my finger and just blend it into my eyeball. Um, then it should look like that. So now you're gonna take, I use the Revlon Color Stay, um, powder, pressed powder, and I use that under my eyes because you don't want your uh, concealer to crease. So I'll just do it just like that. And put it up against my nose. Now you're gonna take blush brush. Mine's a little dirty, but it's fine. And I use this Color Mates blush. It's really old, so. I don't know if they have it still. And you just, I, I like a lot of blush cause that's my thing, but I put it like up here next to my eye and then down on my cheeks like this. And I do that on both sides. And then The best part, well my favorite part, is putting it on my nose. So I literally just go like this. And I put like a lot until I look like Rudolph. Now you're going to take a nice like fluffy brush like this one. And just start wiping away your powder that you put on. And blend in your blush. And take my fingers. The fingers are the best brush. Just letting everyone know that. And then you can just add more if you think that you need more. Because I like a lot. I like to look sun-kissed. So Mads, is this your everyday makeup? Um, I don't wear makeup a lot, but yeah. If, if I do wear makeup, this is how I do it. So, now, I use this LA Colors Contour. It's like really beat up. But, I use that with, uh... If anyone's wondering if it's my complexion, I don't know, but I use this bronzer only and I just add a little bit here under where I put my blush to kind of darken my complexion and chisel my features out. Then you can put a little on your jawline like that. And then just on your forehead. And then you're gonna leave this out because you're going to take a small, I use this angle brush, and you're going to put more of the bronzer on it, like that. And I like to make my nose look like a circle on the tip, so that's how I do it. You literally just take the contour and then just kind of put it on your nose in like an upside down U shape. And then you take it under your nose, like to, to this part, where your nostrils would connect. To create like a button nose effect. And then you take it up slightly, um, your bridge of your nose, to make it look smaller. <laughs> now, I use, since I look crazy, because of what I just did to my face. You don't look that crazy. <laughs> I take a... No more than usual. 
like a small brush like this. Just kidding. And just blend it. Like that. I've had a lot of my makeup for a long time. So, so it's like... Yeah, but makeup only... No, not <laughs> that stuff. That's all been replenished in the past year. Makeup only has a one-year shelf life. Your brushes and stuff you've had maybe for a long time. And you have to wash them on a regular, you know. That's what I do. Okay. So then you look like this. And your skin looks really good because you have a whole a skincare regimen yeah. too, right? Yeah. So now you're going to take... This is my favorite part. Um, I literally only use this color. But it's the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Contour Kit. And I just use this top white color as highlighter. So you literally just take your finger... And I put it on the tip of my nose like that, and then on the bridge, and then you just blend it in. Like, you don't want to make it all go away, so you just kind of lightly blend it, and you have a shiny nose. And then you do it on your inner corners of your eye, like that. And I like to just rub that in also, and then under your eyebrow, and on your cupid's eye. Cupid's bow. And under your lip to make it Under your so bottom weird. lip. Oh. And I so also I'm use that it. same shade on a brush, like this one, and put it on my eyelid to give it a shimmer. But this, by putting on a brush, it just makes your, it makes it, like, more spread, so you don't have a super glittery eyeball. Because that's not what you want. Nice. And that's what it looks like. Now... This is probably like one of my favorite steps other than blush is my eyelashes. So I use actually two mascaras because my eyelashes go down instead of curling naturally. So I use a waterproof mascara and then I use the, um, the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. So I start by taking a curler and just curling my lashes like how you normally would. Pause it. Pause it. Then you kind of turn it up like this. To get like the best curl that you can get. And then you do that to the other side. Well, I'm going to do this side. But, um, by doing this, it just kind of makes it so your lashes look longer. And you can see them more. So now I take my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. It's waterproof. And you uh, just apply that to your lashes. I, I know you're not so supposed to apply You're going to put it on the base of your lashes, even though you're not really supposed to do that. I'm doing that because I want my lashes to stay lifted the whole night. And this is waterproof, so it dries. And you're just going to apply that how you would apply any other mascara. Like so. And you do the same thing to the other side. Then, you're going to, like, do this kind of motion on your bottom lashes. Just so that it gets them coated, but you don't make them super long, because no one wants super long bottom lashes. You don't want your eyelashes to look like spider legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Nobody wants spider leg eyelashes. Now, you're going to take your L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and this is what's going to lengthen it. So, this is like a really like weird brush. Oh, yeah, I see that. And you just... Put that on like how you would put any other mascara. This one you don't want to put on your base because it'll weigh your lashes down. So don't oh. do that. Oh. But it just gives it, like extra length, which is what I like. I see your lashes look lovely. Lovely lashes. Mm -hmm. You do the same thing to the other side. You don't put this one on your bottom lashes because it'll make them literally look like spider legs. Spider legs. We don't want that. Okay, so now it's my favorite part. Which is lip gloss. I, I love lip gloss. I have a lip gloss collection. 
So, yeah, how many lip glosses do you have? Like, over 20, probably. Last time I counted, I was like 22, I think. You know you got Teddy photobombing you in the background <laughs> for Valentine's Day? Okay, so <laughs> this is my, like, recently my favorite lip combo. So I use the uh, L'Oreal, oh no, sorry, the Revlon um, Black Cherry. It's shade 265. That's like your favorite? It's a gloss. And you literally just put a dot on your lip. And then blend it out. And then it looks really dark right now. What you're going to do is you're going to take your finger. And it kind of stains a little bit. So you're just going to rub it in. Now, it's a little light bag, but uh, now you're going to take, I used the Dior. Um, the color looks Dior. good on you though. When I put that on, my skin's lighter and it looks dark. <laughs> I used the Dior lip, uh, or the Dior Attic Lip Glow Oil, but like a really good, like different, you could use this instead of that because it's really expensive. Um, it's the regular Revlon gloss. It's, it's the shade... Uh, 200 crystal clear, but I'm using the shade um, Color Viral Cherry Oil. I'm pretty sure this is also just clear if I'm not wrong. Oh, it's um, 000 Dior Backstage. It's like kind of too. So then you just uh, put it on like how you'd put any other kind of lip gloss. And that's really, that's it. And then you just take your hair down. And that's completely, that's all I do. Very pretty. And that only took like 20 minutes. Like it doesn't take me a long time to do my makeup because I don't do like foundation or anything. I don't even normally do contour, but I just recently started doing it again. Um, but thank you for watching the video. Bye.